Hello everyone and welcome to the Elevate Your Soul podcast. Today I want to talk to you about relationships and I want you to honestly ask yourself, do you think relationships and marriage are about compromise? Do you believe in order to love someone and be compatible and be in a relationship that you need to compromise? Yes or no? What does compromise mean? Compromise means a dissatisfaction for you and for me. So if this is your belief that you do compromise and relationships are about compromise, you will end up being dissatisfied in your relationship with other people. If you want full and complete satisfaction out of your relationships, then keep listening to the rest of this podcast episode. Learn first not to compromise with yourself. Live the life that you want and that you desire without compromise. An example of this could be you really wanting a healthy physical body or a really positive mind space and you're wanting to move your body more happily enjoyably and you're wanting to get out in nature more but you're not and you know you should be and you know you want to but you're not so you're compromising in some way you are compromising right and there's so many examples of how we compromise in our lives and I want you to truly ask yourself what you really want out of life What do you really value? And if you're not getting that, where are you compromising in your own life? Where in your own life are you compromising to not have the life that you want to live? To not go after the goals and dreams that you truly desire? Once you learn to no longer compromise in your own life and the way you live your life, You shouldn't have to want to compromise your amazing goals, your amazing desires, your amazing lifestyle that you've always wanted in order to be in a relationship with someone else. And people who truly love you, who truly respect you, should want what is best for you and they should have compersion for you And be happy for your happiness and want to help and support you in your happiness. They should want to help and support you elevate your soul and become the happiest version of yourself possible. And of course, vice versa. So people who love you unconditionally and are in a relationship with you should also not want you to compromise anything in your own life to be in a relationship with them because that is not them truly wanting what is best for you and truly wanting you to become your highest, most elevated self. That is them not wishing that upon you if they're expecting you to compromise for them. And it should be the same the other way around. You should not want your partner or your partner's to compromise their happiness and their desires and their goals and their wants in order to be in a relationship with you. And we will only ever have this expectation if we're compromising in our own lives because we treat other people the way we treat ourselves. And what we believe in ourselves to be true, we believe in others to be true. So if you're compromising in your own life, you are most likely going to expect your partner to compromise for you. It is so important who we choose to be in a relationship with. But neither is good nor wrong. And that's why the universe is amazing. It always sends to you these people and you will feel it. You will feel this connection, whether it's, oh my God, this person just lights up my life. I love being around them. Or this person is just so bad for me, but I don't know what it is. I just can't get enough. Either one is good and either one is meant to be that way. Because in both relationships, you're growing. 
and learning and evolving, whether that's the quote-unquote rough road or the quote-unquote easy road. And most relationships will have both. And I use that word most carefully. I'm not going to say all relationships. I'm going to say most. It is so important who you choose to be in a relationship with. You want to choose someone who you don't have to compromise for, who doesn't expect you to compromise for them, and doesn't expect you to compromise for them. You should find someone to be in a relationship with that complements your lifestyle already. So with your goals and with your desires and with your dreams, someone who comes along and just makes everything better, even better than what you could be on your own. That is what you should be looking for in a relationship, especially romantic relationships, but even friendships, just as important. And the reason so many of us don't do this is because we are desperate and we are brainwashed from society to think that, oh, if you're not happy, Find someone else to make you happy and your life will be great. No, Uh uh-uh, honey. If you're not happy, your relationships aren't going to be happy. If you can be single and fucking love your life and enjoy yourself, most likely you'll be able to be in a relationship with someone who you can enjoy as well. But in saying that, a lot of relationships, the reason we're in relationships is because Other people trigger us. Other people trigger us in romantic relationships more than anything. They trigger our childhood trauma. So some of us are able to be happy and be on our own. And then when we get in a relationship with someone, it's like, holy heck, why are all these negative emotions coming up? It's not because of them. It's because those negative emotions and those traumas and those hurts are already lying within you. And those are up to you to heal. That is your responsibility to heal. So I guess a better way of saying this is when you're in alignment, when you're living your life in alignment with your soul's purpose, you will have peaceful relationships and you should only settle and want to be with someone who is in alignment with your life as well. And that's what I mean by compliment your life. Just someone who is in alignment where you don't have to compromise in order to receive love from them. And an important thing to remember as well is sometimes you can find someone in alignment with you, but you are always changing and people are always changing and our path sometimes veers off in different directions. So you also need to be open to the relationship changing its course. And I'm not going to use the word end or break up because I don't believe that relationships end. They never end. If you love someone and you have a bond with someone, we're, we're, in the end, we're all in a relationship with each other. We have some kind of relationship with each other, whether we like the person or not. You have a relationship and they make you feel a certain way. So you have to be open and understand that Those relationships can change. They can change course. You might be living with someone for 19 years and then not live with them anymore. That doesn't mean the relationship ended. That doesn't mean the relationship is a failure. That just means it changed and it molded into something else. And that is absolutely fine because you just need to keep staying in your own lane, keep living in alignment with your soul's purpose And eventually, another soul will come along that is more in alignment with your new course and with your new energy. And sometimes that takes time. You might not find those people in a while, and that is okay too. And some people don't even know what they want. They don't know what they desire. They don't know what kind of lifestyle they want. And that's okay. You don't have to know in order to get into a relationship with someone it is very valuable to know what you want before you get in a relationship with someone because many of us don't know and we get in relationship with people and we just settle for their goals and their desires and we're not being true to ourselves and doing what we really want and we're not getting what we really want out of life 
But that's also not the reality for everyone. You see, it's very hard to speak to a group of people, especially when I don't know everyone in my audience on my podcast, because some of the things, some of the advice you hear, you need to take, and some of it may not be 100% true to you at that time. So there might be someone who really needs to go off and be on their own and be single for a while and figure out what they really want before getting in a relationship with someone. And there are other people who don't know what they want, but they should get into relationships with people because relationships can teach you so much about yourself. And these relationships will help you figure out what you want by possibly figuring out what you don't want. And every time you figure out what you don't want, you're getting closer to figuring out what you truly want. So if you're listening to this and you're like, fuck, I don't know what I want. That's okay. You don't need to be single. That's your choice. If you want to take some time on your own and figure out what you want before you get into a relationship with someone, that's cool. If you want to get into relationships with someone to figure out what you want and maybe get inspired by someone else. If you're vibing with someone and you're attracted to them and you want to be around them, then that's a sign from the universe that you should be around that person and that there's something valuable to take from that connection with that person. Whether that's learning a lesson, whether that's bringing up past traumas that you need to work on, there is something in there for you. So with so many of this, all these education, all this knowledge on the internet, all these podcasts, YouTube videos, there's no theory or code that will work for everyone. But there is one thing I can say, and that I know 100% to be true, is that if you learn to listen to your intuition and get your intuition really, really strong and loud so you can hear it and you can sense it and you know what it's saying to you, then you can never go wrong. Then you don't need to figure out, what do I do now? Let me Google what I do if this and this scenario happens. Because the answer for everybody is going to be slightly different. It's going to be slightly different because we all are slightly different. So when questioning yourself of, should I be in a relationship with someone? How do I know what I want? Blah, blah, blah. The best thing you can do is... Learn to listen to your body and your intuition and its responses and what it's trying to tell you. And you can only do this when you quiet the mind and quiet the body and calm the physical body. And I don't mean calm as in sit there with your legs crossed. This information, these inspirations, this knowledge, this inner self-knowledge and self-awareness can arise when you're swimming in the ocean. You know, it doesn't mean physically not doing anything when I say physically calm the body I just mean it's in a state where it's an enjoyment and it's relaxed because it's enjoying itself it's not digesting food that's really not good for it it's not over exercising to the point you're ripping all your muscles apart it's it's just in a good space that it's enjoying right now and so can your mind be And when you do this and there's no distractions and you're not going on social media, you will get downloads on, hmm, why do I feel like eating this? Why do I feel like going here? Why do I feel like doing this? Why do I just feel like going for a drive and going in this direction? That is your intuition speaking to you. And it is so important that you follow that. And that is how you find out what you really want in life. And then learning to not compromise for what you truly want out of life. Because life is so short and life goes by so fast. Don't waste your time not enjoying yourself. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the journey. So that is just your reminder today that relationships are only about compromise if you believe they are. And if you understand that relationships don't require to compromise and be dissatisfied, then that is going to be your reality. And I just want you to know that you can attract that, that you can have that, that you can have a relationship where you don't need to compromise anything. With all your quirks and all your kinks and all your weirdness, there is 
someone out there. There's more than someone. There's a lot of people out there who won't want you to change anything about yourself, who are in alignment with your current energy. And those are usually the people you end up manifesting. And if they're people who trigger you, then that just means that you manifested those people so that you can heal your past traumas. So be grateful for every single relationship in your life. And just remember that you don't need to compromise and you don't need to sacrifice your desires and your needs and your wants in order to receive love from someone else. Even though you think you might be the weirdest person and no one's going to accept you for who you are, there are many people out there who will. There are many people out there who will. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you on the next. Bye.